So, but if you get people to just lose two pounds of visceral fat uh, from their waist, I mean, you're talking about billions of dollars of savings to the healthcare system. You don't focus on the outcome. You don't focus on the actual task of eating healthy or eating right. What you focus on, the first thing we tell them, don't worry about anything. Get used to just measuring. First month, just measure what you're doing. That's it. Measure your steps, measure your heart rate, measure, and, and don't worry about results. And then all of a sudden you start doing that thing, you start sending them messages. Hey, try, you know, try, try exercising a little more. And, they, and, and all of a sudden when you start seeing your data, it's, it's you start doing things because you're just getting used to the behavior of tracking. So once you get to the used to behavior of tracking and somebody gives you some guidance, you automatically migrate towards changing those things because you realize it's not dramatic. In many instances, it's subtle. And those subtle changes, if you look at population health, there's these stories that if you just get people to lose three pounds, I mean, three pounds of visceral fat, we know BMI is a terrible predictor of anything. It's just, you know, two people can be uh, same BMI yet have completely different body fat percentages. So, but if you get people to just lose two pounds of visceral fat uh, from their waist, I mean, you're talking about billions of dollars of savings to the healthcare system. So, you know, we're talking about population health management and on an individual basis like you and I, we might tweak it to, for performance. But for the larger population, it's, it's somebody who's never measured anything, doesn't even realize what they're putting in their mouth or what they're doing on a daily basis.